Hello guys, today let's talk about admin eloquent model and this line of code. So if your application has regular users and admin users, for some developers it's tempting to use guards for the roles and permissions and then in the routes we have something like this, route auth admin as a middleware. And then there's a separate regular user model of eloquent generated with Laravel default. In this video, I will try to explain my opinion, personal opinion, why it is wrong in many cases. Not in all the cases, there are exceptions, but in most cases, especially for junior developers, they should not confuse guards with roles and permissions. And I recently tweeted about it, quoting the docs of Laravel that guards and providers of user auth configuration of Laravel should not be confused with roles and permissions because for roles and permissions, there are gates policies, and separate packages. And of course, it's very hard to explain my thoughts in a tweet, so I decided to shoot this video to explain a bit deeper. So look what happens if you separate users into users and admins. This is, by the way, the code of one junior developer who asked to review his code. And this is one of the topics I found to talk about. So there's user model with guard name web. And as you can see, fillable, hidden, casts, get route key name, booted, get by username, quite a lot of functions in addition to default user of Laravel. Now, if you have a separate authenticatable model, look what is inside. Fillable, hidden, same casts, same function, same booted with just different model as a parameter, same get by username, just with different eloquent model, and there can be more functionality. So see the problem repeating code then in two models. And then another example, for example, if you want to install the API in your project, you run PHP Artisan install API as per Laravel 11 documentation and no migration and look at the final message. And I have moved the terminal to the left so you would see that. Please add the has API tokens to your user model. Now, which model? We have two. And then more example, if you want to add functionality, like for example, activity log by Spidey package, it requires to add the behavior of like created by user ID and updated by user ID, which should be a trait into a user model, which model? So my point is that if you have more than one model with the user behavior with login and sessions and general behavior of the user, then you will have a lot of duplicated code in both models. And in some cases, for example, if you have a separate table with foreign key to users, you would need to create either two foreign keys, so user ID and admin ID, or some kind of polymorphic relationships just for that. So in most cases, what does make sense is to have one user model and then add roles and permissions on top with gates, policies, and packages like Spati Laravel permission. And if you have separate columns, different columns for admins and users, then on top of user model users database table, you could create another table of profile like admins and customers or whatever with the foreign key to the users table with user model having has one relationship to either of those tables. Now, if we talk about the case where admin model does make sense as a separate guard is when you have some kind of legal requirement or compliance requirement to separate the data just to comply with requirements similar to, for example, in hospitals, in the database, doctor information should be separate from patient information. So you could apply a similar logic here for admins and users. So in some cases, those tables should be separate by definition or if they are very different then it may make sense to separate them but when you are making the decision to use the guards and often that decision is made in the beginning of this project please be aware that from now on you and your team needs to support two eloquent models separately with almost the same core behavior and another thing i noticed just now see use has factory is underlined in the admin model so PHP Storm says that you cannot find the factory class because user factory exists for the user model by default with Laravel. Now for admin, you would need to create another separate admin factory or not. So in each step that involves those models, you would have to make kind of a decision, a crossroad of whether to do something combined or separately, which in long term, in my opinion, would lead to more confusion to the team. What do you think? Do you agree with my opinion? This is still a personal opinion. Have you had the scenario where you added admin as a separate eloquent model 
also extending authenticatable with similar behavior and what was your impression and what was your experience with that project long term let's discuss in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos